Hey guys, this is Ray Bango and I wanted to show you a really cool feature that uh, I've been using for a while to try to help me uh, in debugging certain uh, applications or even just playing around with certain web pages. So uh, my good friend Carl Swedberg uh, who runs Learning jQuery, he's also part of the jQuery project team, a while back created a bookmarklet which allows me to directly inject jQuery, the latest version of jQuery, into any web page that I'm on. And so I'm on his, uh, I'm actually on his blog post right now. And it's really simple to, to incorporate this. And so what you end up doing is taking this bookmarklet, and it's right here. And, and the bookmarklet is simply JavaScript code formatted in a specific way so that it can be run within the context of the browser. And the neat thing is that you can actually grab it like this and drag it right up to your toolbar. So what I'm going to do is drop it here, and notice that it now becomes a, uh, an entry in my toolbar. Now the cool thing is that I can go to a site like Yahoo, which definitely doesn't use jQuery and I can directly inject jQuery into this page. So what I'm going to do is spark up Firebug and I'll click on the jQuerify bookmarklet and you'll see up here that says this page is now jQuerified with version uh, 1.42. And if I go here and I say, all right, I'm gonna pull back all divs, you'll see that I can actually grab back all the results of the specific page for all the divs. Now let's say I wanted to narrow this down a little bit. I can just go and say, all right, well, instead of pulling back every single div that's here, let me go ahead and pull back just those divs with a class of tab panel. And so I'll run this and notice that it shrinks it down, which is pretty cool. It, the nice thing is it gives me the flexibility of uh, having the jQuery syntax available to me. But I can take this a little bit further and I can use most of the, you know, all the functionality that jQuery provides. So if I say I want to just loop through all divs and change the background color to blue. I can go ahead and do that and and you'll see how the page changes and I can take it a step further and say hey you know I want the whole entire page you know, the body of the page to be uh, blue and you know this is just an example to show you how this actually works. I Obviously I wouldn't go ahead and change the, blue, the page to blue. Some people might like it, whatever floats your boat. But the neat thing is that it gives me the power of uh, jQuery, it gives me the, that terse, uh, concise syntax that I've, I'm so used to, to kind of work with the page. I, I, I like this approach and I'm glad that this bookmark is available. So again, um, I'm going to link it on my blog post, but you know this was from Carl Swedberg, and so I leverage this quite a bit, and I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to uh, in insert this uh, bookmarklet into onto your browser, and then leverage it later on to be able to work with web pages.